Hey guys, Jody here. It's Mother's Day. I'm really happy to show you my garden. It is awesome. It is, it's new in some ways and old in others, you'll see. But uh, without further ado, let me give you a tour. So this archway is Magic the Gathering inspired. It, uh, I made it. Uh, well, my husband does all the uh, wood cutting and then I painted it and then my husband uh, got all of the materials to build this fence to keep the deer out this year so excited so when you walk in you'll see so this is a, these are all the lands from magic this is plains mountains forest island and swamp and I, I think it, you know it's interesting it's like a rainbow but it's magic uh, plains inspired and then also, like the bottom being like black with skulls, people would be like, oh, and so I just like been m meditating on like the Latin momenta mori. And so when you see these skulls, it's, uh, you know, death is necessary for life. So, you know, we depend on the death to make plants. And so like is uh, the remains of our compost we uh tom took out all the bottom my husband took out all the bottom of the compost and then put the uh new stuff over there in a new compost and we rely on this all of our old food and uh you know uh, manure from the our past animals in the past to go into the garden and so you know even though there's like skulls and people think oh that's kind of crazy well uh, it's good to sort of meditate on, on, I believe, to meditate on your death and um, live for the day, you know, as though, as though you might die tomorrow. <laughs> Anyway, so here's my Mother's Day gift. I really wanted a nice thermometer. And so now I have that. And let's look at the temp. Okay, so what are we at here? Right about 80, yep. Right about 80. Pretty hot for, for this northern Idaho. It's definitely time to start thinking about planting. Uh, we have this nice pile here of loamy, rich soil that we had delivered for a, a big raised bed over here. Here's where we use uh, water here to uh, water by hand. We just have like a reservoir and also the deer come and drink out of here. And then when you enter the garden, there's a few ways to enter. This uh, here is the old glockenspiel. So you can play it like this or like this <laughs> and it's very musical and fun or uh, and this is also for transplanting if you need a little tiny shovel so you'll have that there and then here you could play this bell so it's very musical if you want to get into the garden there's a few passwords the, there's the bell the glockenspiel and there's also a speak friend and enter this is elvish for friend and here we have some stones we have amethyst rose quartz and these kind of beads that look like earths or something i'm not sure but here this is just to keep the deer out <laughs> so they don't jump through this hole and we are about to go in so without further ado let's check out the garden all right here we are we're inside all right um, this is gonna be so awesome when you're in here it is so cool it's going to be a green room so to speak because the ideal is that the hops are gonna grow 
entirely up the walls. It, it'll take maybe a couple of years. The hops are doing quite well and I will show you the very back of the garden here. So when you look here, these are all hops and I had some weird thing that they were growing up and now they're going to grow up the fence and they're also going to grow up here like it'll be like archway so when you walk into here you will have uh, hops hopefully growing up over the top this is all uh you know not quite it's not quite done but anyway i took you here to show you that the hops are doing quite well they're starting to crawl up the fence and uh intermingle with each other they're going to be a gaggle just uh, you know, they grow like 12 feet tall or more, and there's a big green wall, so that's going to be amazing. Ideally, the hops will be around the entire fortress, but we have some transplanting to do. Anyhow, I'm taking you out of sequence, but... This is like, when, so when I first come in the gate, okay, so here I am, okay, hi, I just walked in my garden, and then right beside me here, like, check this out, wow, like these guys here, whoa, they're going so high, like this one right here, okay, let's see how tall, it's almost as tall as me, it's amazing. These are just old stones that my husband made. He finishes concrete, and sometimes he just finishes extra ones. And these stones came from a hotel I worked at. They were doing something different, and they just put them in the back. They said, you can have those. I said, cool. This here is a baby sunflower. So I'm expecting a nice tall sunflower, uh, some nice geraniums these guys are sort of symbolizing the the raspberry color these are all raspberries they're transplanted from a less happy spot here's some volunteer hops that are going to need to be transplanted uh, some more hops that'll come up this back wall i've transplanted a lot over the years so they're kind of all over and tom sort of strategically built the fence to uh, have a place for them to go and anyway, interestingly, so this area right here was where we had a very tiny goat barn that he tore out. It was falling down. And this is actually where the goat pen was. And the, so the goat barn here, this is like amazing. Like these raspberries have like amniotic fluid and so much goat poop. And so this should be doing pretty good. And yeah, so the, yeah, all is well here. And then Tom planted these this year. We've just had uh, such encroaching grass and uh, deer that that uh, this is the first maybe successful strawberry patch. Although we've had other strawberry patches. They just got totally encroached with grass. And yeah, this is going to be way better. So this is my favorite part of the garden. I said, if I'm going to be about gardening this year, it's going to be about flowers. I've tried to be sustainable and grow enough food and you know it was it felt more like work and this way that you know all the pollinators and you know birds bugs you know can enjoy but also I'm gonna enjoy and this is my way of honoring my grandma who was another mom to me so I'm really happy to show you this part of the garden my favorite part so without further ado all right, so we have our uh, pansies, violas, beautiful, some mint from my aunt. It's growing everywhere. It's insane. Uh, some p more pansies. These I've just sort of treated myself to. Some columbines. Hopefully these, <laughs> these will uh, bloom some more. Uh, and then uh, flocks. Uh, yeah, we have Cosmos, more pansies, 
and the the reason and there's some wormwood and these are all comfrey they're incredible uh, most of my garden and and way outside the garden sort of everywhere you can see a bunch of them over here outside of the garden are uh, comfrey and they have little t tiny ton of them that grow all season and they are just amazing and so anyway the reason that I created this sort of space this honored space for these flowers is because my grandma loved flowers her her birthday is near uh, Mother's Day, so it's like two days from now, May 14th. And anyway, these I transplanted from her garden. So these oriental poppies, they're this really vibrant salmon color. And there's uh, several of them in here. And it was all just grass here. This is all just like sort of aggressive uh, crabgrass or what have you uh, that was all just kind of a mangled mess and then so yeah my husband built the fence and then we just kept going this bed here he will fill up that's going to be tomatoes peppers we're very close to that right now uh because it's so hot usually people around this area <laughs> usually people in this area don't plant until after memorial day but it, this year is looking like we ought to so anyway uh the the other thing i uh, am really excited about is my I made a, a video on these guys uh, on YouTube. Where I was planting them, and I planted them very early. They're, they're doing great. Uh, I kind of like had this whole thing, this whole thing covered to sort of protect them and braid the whole inside of their little tent, and they're looking really nice. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for that. And then, so we got some more comfrey over here. And I'll just sort of walk around on this little bridge here. Really nice place to relax. And then over here, uh, this is just planted with zucchinis and a few, uh, like this whole front part is cilantro and then zucchinis back here. So uh, there's a lot more to come. I, I wanna put a fish tank right here, a little 10 gallon fish tank, get some cheap goldfish and then use their water. Uh, I'll use their water just to water everything and then give the goldfish fresh water after I water. Um, so it'll be like a mini permaculture. And then, yeah, there's, it's just awesome. I really happy about this I am you know a mom and this is uh, my new baby it's really great my husband and I ha have kids and I'll show you they are uh, I'm leaving the garden <gasps> uh, they my kids are represented with these three little flowers and yeah and speak friend and enter and there's my three kids so yeah this is sort of my husband and my new baby my my kids are old now and it, you know it's yeah my mom even planted flowers for herself like as a gift to herself and and here i'm planting flowers as you know sort of homage to my grandmother who was another mom and it's uh just awesome to garden you can't look at it like oh what's it going to give me but well, you know what what can i give the garden and and it's always reciprocal i just find myself getting so lost out here it's not the overwhelming oh there's so much to do it's uh the the puttering uh next next thing that that's sort of calling out to you these these plants they need you <laughs> and so you you do the next thing for them and so i'm really i'm really glad you know these uh these hops came from my neighbor and uh, her her husband also sort of mothered me he was a vietnam vet who helped me through a difficult time and so i i have a, you know a part a part of her here and a part of him here also part of their land that's just flourishing so the garden is a way for people to live on 
we uh, are so grateful for for those whom have passed and and for those uh, who who are living on in our hearts and uh, with every flower that we see it's uh, it's really a miracle i'm grateful to have such a great mom uh, more more than one mom i've been mothered by so many people most of them are flower and bird lovers and also I'm grateful to be a mom. That has been the best gift in my life. And uh, and I'm also grateful to be mothering my garden. Happy Mother's Day. Woo!